only three dribbling tricks you need in FC24. Yes, I actually mean it. So the first trick we are going to talk about is the caressing technique. So what is the caressing technique exactly? Like the name suggests, you have to be very gentle on the left stick, right? You are going to let go of the sprint button. Remember, no sprinting because when we are sprinting, we are not having a ball contact. We want the ball to stay close to our feet. So what are we going to do next? We are only using the left stick, keyword being only, okay? I am only using the left stick. And what am I doing? I am being very gentle with it because when I am gentle with the left stick, it allows me to maneuver in tight spaces because I want to be able to dribble in tight spaces. Once I am able to dribble in tight spaces, I can beat constant press, I can beat team press and all kind of those things and set up good shooting opportunities and good passing opportunities. Now, on the other hand, if I were to smash the left stick like most people do where they can hear a clicking sound, what will happen? I will not have as fluid motion, right? Is that a useless thing no it is not because when you want dead turns for example i want to turn back and then i want to turn back inside i will use this technique right so if you want sharp turns this technique is very good you saw how we were able to beat that defender it is because i was using the smash technique right but talking generally you will use the caressing technique as compared to this smashing technique right but it is still useful when you want dead turns or dead stops right it is very good for dead turns but like i said it is best used in combination with the caressing technique. And this dribbling trick is what you are going to use 90% of the times in combination with the controlled sprint dribble, which I will talk to you about soon. You want to be gentle, right? Gentle, when you are gentle, this is what happens. You are able to have tight control and you can do these movements in tight spaces. And when you are smashing, like I said, this is what happens. You have clunky movement but it is good for sharp turns so you really want to know the difference between these two techniques next up we are going to talk about agile dribbling talking about agile dribbling guys you are going to hold l2 and r2 to activate agile dribbling once it is activated you want to use it in a manner that you are able to burst past the opponent if you exit out of the agile dribbling with the r2 button you will see that the opponent will be left for dead like we did over there right it is a very useful dribbling technique agile dribbling isn't very good this year as compared to last year however it is still very important right like i said the agile dribbling speed boost is very overpowered this year it leaves defenders for dead and if you want to make quick turns the agile dribbling technique is still very important it is definitely worth adding into your arsenal before i show you the third trick i have to show you something very important that not many people talk about when we are left stick dribbling the goal is not necessarily to beat players like Lionel messi and i will repeat myself again and again why because left stick dribbling is all about having tight control being able to exploit the spaces right now on your screen you can see this build up phase you might say okay i cannot see a lot of dribbling but if you will watch this video again which you will you will see that this chance was created because of left stick dribbling this is how you need to start thinking if you want to become a better dribbler see while the ball is traveling to this psg player what have i done look at my left stick i am pointing it upwards before i have even received the ball why am I pointing it that way? Because I know I want to pass the ball to this guy over here who is Ansu Fati and he is standing upwards because he is standing upwards. I am accepting the ball in that direction by using the left stick. It is very important to use the left stick on the first touch. See, we do exactly that. And what do we do now? We analyze the opponent and we see how he is moving. And at the same time, we are using the left stick dribbling to confuse him. See. We look down, we look up. Now we have confused him. First, we went towards the midfield, made him think that we are going to pass the ball inside. Now we turned upwards with the left stick, as you can see by the direction of my left stick. And see, what am I able to do? I turn him again and then I don't pass because I had to confuse him. And since FC is a game of chess, we are playing chess while using left stick dribbling. Once again, you will see it's all about using the left stick dribbling while making sure the opponent doesn't get anywhere near to the ball. Again, before Barela received the ball, we pointed towards the empty direction, right? Now, when we go in this empty direction, we want to turn upwards because otherwise he will just commit towards us. We use left stick, we turn towards Rafael Liao and we are able to take this shot with him. So left stick is all about this. See, once again. 
what are we doing we want to create space right and now we will beat the opponent we will take a touch away and then we will take a touch inside this is something you can do take a touch away and then take a touch inside touch away touch inside to confuse the opponent once again we always take a touch away then we take a touch inside right it is all about setting up the opponent ideally you want to set up the opponent look with dibala what do we do we go straight we turn up we turn inside we turn back we confuse the opponent it's all about setting up the opponent now look at this chance right as rafael liao we take a touch inside we go upwards and then we pass inside we take a touch downwards and we score this goal it's all about because of left stick dribbling you want to think like this so if you want to become a better fc player you have to change the way you think and that applies to left stick dribbling as well if you want to be a good left stick dribbler you have to think like this see with alexia what are we doing we used left stick to set up the opponent see once again with her what do we do we go straight we go up we go in we stop we make a skill move it is all possible only because of left stick dribbling so once you start thinking like this you will also see open spaces and then you will exploit them with left stick dribbling so it is simple you learn how to caress the left stick and then you look for open spaces on the pitch your goal is to find the space exploit the space use left stick dribbling to pass the ball in tight spaces use left stick dribbling to set up shots number 3 we have control sprint and effort dribble touch look at this guys this is called the effort dribble touch now what is the effort dribble touch it is simply a new feature this year in fc24 which allows us to change directions very quickly so how do you perform the effort dribble touch you hold r1 and then you flick the right stick in the direction you want to go r1 and flick the right stick in the direction you want to go and you will be able to embarrass the goalkeeper as well but it is all about finding the space and then exploiting that space with the effort dribble touch look we are sprinting down we want to exploit the space inside what are we going to do we are going to use the effort dribble touch it is as simple as that it is absolutely broken whenever you have space in front of you you use the effort dribble touch Effort touch dribble is absolutely game changing especially if your player has that rapid player trait guys it allows you to quickly change directions burst past defenders and completely leave the defender for dead like i said all you have to do is hold the r1 button and flick the right stick in the direction you want to exit towards it is called the effort touch dribble and it is game changing with control sprint dribbling guys like i told you the other day it is all about setting up the opponent once you have pocket of spaces you want to use the controlled sprint dribble so you set up the opponent using the caressing technique and once you have pocket of space you go with the controlled sprint dribble what if i told you combining controlled sprint dribble with effort touch is absolutely game changing see so we are going to use the caressing technique to set up the opponent once he is set up we are going to use controlled sprint and once he is baited in we will use effort touch dribble to quickly change directions guys this is absolutely game changing and these are the only three tricks you need to master because once you do master them there is no going back you will destroy defenses and you will destroy opponents